All right, folks, welcome back to yet another Budget Gem or Budget Bust. have another one here for you today for an unboxing in an Amp Dyno. And this one, this is the Pioneer GM-D8601 800-watt monoblock amplifier. Um, these amplifiers you can find right now pretty much anywhere. Uh, Pioneer, of course, being one of the biggest brands out there in the car audio industry. Uh, you can find them at Walmart. You can find them at Best Buy. You can find them at uh, Amazon. You can find them every single place that you could buy car audio. You're going to find Pioneer. Uh, and if they don't sell Pioneer, where the hell are you going? What, what place doesn't carry Pioneer, for God's sakes? They're like the number one head unit for a reason. Um... I run a Pioneer head unit on my test bench. I run a Pioneer uh, navigation system in my truck. Um, I've been pretty loyal to Pioneer head units for a long time. One thing I've never done though is I've never run a Pioneer amplifier because I probably have taken the same, same opinion as some of you out there as to, well, they make really good head units, but after that, I don't know. Um, but Pioneer actually does make some really good equipment outside of head units. Um, you know, some of their subwoofers are really solid. Um, I've got a lot of people that had a lot of uh, good opinions of the uh, 3003 subwoofer that's out there for Pioneer. They say that's a good value. Um, for giggles, last summer I got a Pioneer shallow subwoofer just to play around with um, and compare it against my JL shot, shallow, uh, shallow subwoofers that I have. And they really weren't bad at all. So, Pioneer is one of those brands that they're not rebadged anything. What you find in the box is Pioneer and Pioneer only. And speaking of the box, let's get into this amplifier here and open her up and see what we get. Um, I paid $111 for this and uh, check one of the links below and you'll be able to find out where I bought it and where you can get one of your own. So, first thing, you don't need to see my receipts. I bought this one from ABT here in uh, Chicago. You have your owner's manual, very standard stuff, and you have tape in at the bottom. You have your remote base knob, and this one here is nice. It is not El Cheapo like you get with some of these others. It is full metal, and it's kind of wrapped up pretty good, so we won't spend too much time on it. But you hear, full metal, uh, pretty nice job. And you, of course, you get your remote base cable, and these are not RCAs in the box. These are your high-low adapters, because this can take straight high-low adapters into it. Let's get into the amplifier here. wrapped up really well and ta-da one pioneer amplifier now let's check around and see what you get uh, for your $111 along this side of the amplifier you have your terminals um, you have of course your ground and your power and remote here these um, power and grounds uh, accept up to four gauge wiring you have your fuses uses dual 40 amp fuses and over here you have your speaker output terminals and these do accept up to 8 gauge of wire see here I've got an 8 gauge reducer and it fits in no problem these are internally bridged otherwise known as their summed mono so it doesn't matter which set you select you could pick this positive this negative or you could take this positive this negative however you want to do it um, it will put whatever sub speakers you put in here automatically in parallel. Along this side of the amplifier you have your settings and your RCA inputs. Um, of course you have RCA inputs and outputs. Uh, these are just outputs so you can't strap two of these amplifiers together. Um, that's a no-no with these. Um, here you have your gain which is adjustable from 6.5 volts down to 0.2 volts and your low pass uh, crossover which is adjustable from 240 hertz down to 40 hertz 
and you have your bass boost remote right there. Now, if I had to say I have a gripe with this amplifier and some of these budget mainstream amps is that, that now these don't seem to ever come with a subsonic filter. So you ported guys would have a problem with one of these amplifiers. Uh, I can't imagine it can't be that much to do to uh, put the, one of those on there. Um, but I would prefer to see that, especially over a bass boost, which thankfully these don't have because at least Pioneer acknowledges those are worthless. Taking a look at the specs, you can see here the amplifier is CEA rated and it produces 300 watts by one at 4 ohms, 500 watts by one at 2 ohms, and of course 800 watts by one at 1 ohm. Now, I'm fully expecting this amp to be really accurately rated. Um, it was that way when Big D tested the D9601, the bigger brother to this one. I fully expect that we're gonna get the same thing out of Pioneer on this one. And with that being said, Nothing left to do but to hook it up onto the amp dyno and find out exactly how much power the Pioneer GMD8601 actually produces. Let's do this. folks just as we expected the amplifier uh, performed really really well um, hit all its rating marks which is fantastic uh, got over 900 watts plus dynamically at 1 ohm um, well over the 800 plus uh, as well certified at 1 ohm and uh, only one where we came up just a tad short one watt short on was the 4 ohm rating but I didn't have 14.4 volts uh, which, if it had 14.4 at that time, yeah, definitely would have hit every single rating on the box. Um, really, really nice value for what you get. Again, um, Pioneers are built to last. They're built to take some abuse. And uh, it's nice to see for 111 bucks, you've got a really solid option here in this one here. Here's another thing. Go down to Walmart, $111. I know people are like, oh, Walmart, eee. Well, 
You can also pick up an extended warranty on this thing for like three years for like 20 bucks. So for 130 bucks, you get an amp with a three year warranty. You can beat the ever living piss out of this thing. And if anything goes wrong, guess what? Bring it back to Walmart. They'll take care of it. Where else are you going to do that? So, nice job, Pioneer. Definitely a budget gem. Good job. Um, I've also got a Pioneer 8604, the four channel. Um, we're going to see how that one does here in a couple weeks. But, nice job, Pioneer. I'm out of here. I got more amps to test. Thanks for watching.